Okay, so I'm going to make this video fairly quick. OpenAI just released a new preview model to ChatGPT for premium users, and it is ChatGPT01 preview over here. Currently, you can't upload any documents or anything like that, so you can't do a lot of the additional RAG, but the context window obviously in ChatGPT is still pretty good, especially if you use the API to upload stuff. However, the main thing is the reasoning and logic that it now has built in. And this is really, really interesting. And I think this is the next generation of making sure that A, you are removing hallucinations, B, you're actually completing all of the tasks that you want out of your prompt when you are putting in kind of super prompts. C, super prompts now are more powerful than they have ever been before. If you are wanting to try and tailor and build your own super prompt, now this model actually allows you to go and do that properly without having to break up a lot of the more complex tasks or logic for it to work properly. But C, or D even, the most important thing, it's not that big of an upgrade quite yet. So, yes, this logic, the context, everything, the reasoning is fantastic. However, if you compare the outputs, bear in mind this is the exact same prompt in ChatGPT 4.0, basically what you get is additional tweaks and more information and more reliability like I just said, you know, less hallucinations, more reliability on the RAG, more uniqueness, more quality, more improvements, but it's essentially the exact same output every time. So you see on here, sentence structure, vocabulary, complexity, tone, useful literary devices, and then it goes into the each individual points. The exact same thing happens on basically every prompt that I'm doing at the moment. So it's almost the exact same output that you're getting in 4.0. It's just because of the logic and reasoning, it's now better quality and your tasks get completed to a higher level degree of certainty and accuracy. So far, I'm loving it. I think it's fantastic. I just can't wait to actually be able to start uploading stuff inside of ChatGPT. And I really wanna be able to test out some of the bigger, more complex super prompts, which I haven't been able to format properly to this quite yet because obviously I wasn't using them with, with 4.0 and especially when we were using 4.0 mini to do a lot of the smaller tasks like categorization and things. We'd gotten more use to sequencing and now it's kind of built into ChatGPT from the looks of things. It might be launching with Claude next. It'll be very, very interesting to see how this tool and how this technology progresses with the next generation of these models releasing. We're not 100% sure when GPT-5 is rumored to come out and we're not 100% sure when the next generation of technology aside from this strawberry releases. But we are nowhere near AGI yet, guys. And if anything, this is just going to make our current SEO and AI SEO processes even better when it finally rolls out and we can put it into our tools like Topical Map AI and Cupper AI. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.